Hey guys, Dongo here, and today I have something really new to show you. But first, let's go through its name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Buffalo Extreme Performance Wireless AC 1300 and 900 gigabit router, Air Station WZR1800H. There you go. I love every single letter of that. Now, there's two things very important in the name. First is the N900. That means this router is actually a true dual band wireless N router with each band offering up to 450 megabit per second at the same time. Now the second AC1300 is actually the biggest deal. This is the very first router on the market that supports the brand new 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard. This standard is also known as the 5G Wi-Fi. This is the fifth generation of the Wi-Fi standard. Now, this router has support all of the Wi-Fi standards. That means if you buy it right now and bring home all of your existing devices, iPhone, iPad, notebook, etc., will work the way they have always worked. However, if you want to enjoy the newer and faster AC standard, you will also need clients that support this standard. There's almost none of them on the market right now except for the one I have right here. Now, this is the new media bridge, also from Buffalo, that support the AC standard. Pay close attention, however, because these two boxes look the same, but one of them is a router, and the other one is the media bridge. The media bridge connect to the router using AC connection and share that connection to up to four Ethernet devices. Now, the question is, there's only one router and one media bridge. How do I know if the performance is that of the router or of the client? For now, I can say that the AC standard is a lot faster and the Buffalo router here actually is also very fast when working with wireless N clients, especially on the 5 gigahertz band. Now, as a router, it comes with four LAN port and one WAN port. All of them are gigabit. Up here, Unify is USB port to host an external hard drive. And down below here, you can find something very interesting. There's a sleeve right here that holds a tag on which you can find the default information of the router. This is all you need to get your network up and running. On the bottom here, the router comes with a detachable base to keep it in the vertical position. You can take it off and put it on pretty easily. Like that. I do find that the bay is not wide enough to keep the router from toppling quite easily. On the front here, the router has three LED lights that show the status of the router, of the wireless network, and the connection to the internet. Up here, you can find an air station one-touch secure system button that helps connecting other Buffalo devices to the network. This button also works with other WPS devices. Now, if you're wondering how much this brand new router costs, the good news is, it costs exactly the same as other high-end N900 wireless N router, which makes it a very good deal for those who want to use this for future AC devices without having to spend too much. For more information on the performance and why AC is actually really cool, check out the full review at seat.com. Once again, my name is Dongo, and this has been the first look as the very first AC router from Buffalo.